Hi everybody and welcome back to another edition of Coffee Chats with me, your host Baylin. Another day, another piece of fake news. So let me take you straight to it today. Okay, this is actually not so much fake news as kind of bad news. Um, yesterday, uh, Lim Guan Eng, leader of the Democratic Action Party, you know, one of the biggest parties in Malaysia, released a statement in Chinese um, saying that the Chinese community has not, you know, how much money has the Chinese community received from Budget 2021? Uh, he asked the uh, MCA president, Wee Ka Xiong, to answer. Um, Lim Guan Eng was quoted as saying, uh, after the Perikata National uh, took over, the MCA has been helping the government to oppress the Chinese. And let's the Chinese uh, face discrimination in the 2021 budget. Now, this is a very serious accusation, and this was reported very, very widely. Here you see it in uh, Nanyang, uh, E Nanyang, uh, the online version of the Nanyang Shangpao, and in the Sinchu, Sinchu Jitpo, which is also one of the biggest newspapers, also on Malaysia Kini, also on Kuanghua, We Are United, uh, Kuangming, and so on. So, this news is everywhere on the Chinese media. And uh, remarkably, it's not anywhere if you're reading the non-Chinese media. And uh, it was first revealed on Twitter. I saw that uh, this press release was given only in Chinese, not in English, not in Malay, not in Tamil. And at first I thought that's impossible because you know, if you have an important statement to make, you know, that's so, so important, such too important to such a big part of the country, uh, affects so many people, and, you know, clearly points out uh, the government as being, you know, racist, well, surely you want to spread it as widely as possible. Yet, this is exactly not what we see. Just see here. So, here we are on dapingmalaysia.org. The relevant news releases here uh when i raised the uh 2021 budget in parliament you know the issue on the issue of the chinese communities uh allocation uh it is less that than the 2020 allocation by 77 percent and the nca has made uh not a single complaint about it and does not dare to deny it uh so that has the MCA, you know, minister addressed this problem and raised the uh, raised the voice for the Chinese community in the cabinet. So this is a big, big deal, right? Um, yet if you look at the Malay statements, uh, press releases for the AP, there is nothing. This, uh, it is it was released just yesterday, uh, on the fourteenth. You can see here, fourteenth. And over here, for all the things on the 14th, including the 13th, there is nothing, nothing about that. If you go to English, it's even worse. I mean, it goes all the way back to the 4th and no statement. So the statement was only released in Chinese. And that really begs the question of why. And I think uh, it's not too much to say that it's purely political. Uh, if this was a true statement that, you know, the Chinese community, you know, had a reduction of 77%, huge amount, I reckon that you want to tell the whole world. You would call a press conference uh, where you can speak to reporters face-to-face, -face, answer the questions, make sure that everybody understands the severity of the situation. Instead, think about the context and how this was carried out. It was released, on a Saturday, the 14th. And it was released something about, I guess, in the afternoon. Exactly the time, like the most quiet time in terms of media the whole week. So it would not spread to the English media or the Malay media quite as quickly. It would mainly stay within the Chinese media, who would be terribly outraged and spread it like wildfire. And is that an accident? No, I think that I'll say that that's by design. 
Now, all this sounds really difficult for a lot of people, I expect, because uh, if you're a Chinese, Malaysian, and you have uh, grown up to believe that you know the Chinese community is not treated very well, then you may find that, well, this is very difficult to believe. I'm sure you know there's some truth to it. Maybe, but you see there, there the headline figure is that 77% uh, there was a reduction of the allocation by 77%. But I've read all the articles that I've shown you, and there is no breakdown, there is no uh, detail to say like, oh, it, there was a reduction here, here, and here. None of that. And I know that Lim Guan Eng and the DAP are capable of doing that because the man was the former finance minister. He knows his figures. So why, in the interest of showing the truth to you know his uh, malaysian chinese comrades would why would he hold back the details if it was you know so clear for all to see right so i think we really have to ask ourselves the question of why this is happening um and i think it's politics politics as usual i think i don't like it i think it's like nakedly political you once you know what to look for you know, the lack of a statement in uh, Malay and English uh, or Tamil even. Uh, and the fact that, you know, the headline figure is not explained at all. And then you come out with, you know, very uh, provocative statement to say that uh, the government is oppressing the Chinese. So I think all these put together tell you that this is the political wayang. Because now budget 2021, you know, uh, is getting really serious. It will, it is being debated and there is a time limit. So if the DAP wants to raise some opposition to it, you know, get, gather some support to push for what they want to see, then they have to do so now. And I think that's exactly what we're observing. I think it's a little scummy. It's a little underhanded. But I think it's important that everybody watches this video. Please recognize it for what it is. It's politics. I don't really think that there is a 77% reduction. I'd be happy to pr be proven wrong. If you know of any, anybody knows any details, please send it over to me. Leave it in YouTube comments, you know, uh, or tweet it to me. Anything at all. I will definitely follow up. So with that, uh, thank you very much. I hope that this has been educational for you uh, because I know it's been uh, very important to me to talk about this. And uh, thank you and have a great weekend. Bye bye.